I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my video on polynomials. We will now try to sketch graph of the function from given conditions and also write its equation. Question here is, sketch function with following characteristics and write its equation. A function p of x has following characteristics. Roots at x equals to minus 2, 0 and 2. Increasing over interval from minus 2 to minus 1, union 1 to infinity. Decreasing over minus infinity to minus 2, union minus 1 to 1. Negative interval 0 to 2, positive interval from minus infinity to 0, union 2 to infinity, and the graph passes through the point A, 1 minus 18. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, we'll make a rough sketch here, which is good enough at this stage. Uh, and then, we'll write its equation. Let's begin with the roots. We are given three roots here. One is at minus 2. Let's say that is at minus 2. Then we have at 0 and at 2 increasing over this interval so what i will do here is kind of create a rough work column you understand so i'll just below this line we'll have some indications right so that we could write down guidelines as we read the question so it says increasing over minus 2 to minus 1 so this is minus 2 for us here we have 0 here we have 2 and let us say here we have minus 1 and then we have 1 here. So it is saying that increasing over minus 2 to 1. That means in this interval the function is increasing. And from 1 to infinity. And then it is also increasing in this interval. Decreasing in rest of it. So here it is decreasing. And it is decreasing in this portion. Okay negative from 0 to 2. So from 0 to 2, the part is negative. So let me write negative here from 0 to 2. And it is from negative infinity to 0. And thereafter, it is kind of not negative. So it's only negative in this interval. Okay. And it passes through the point 1 minus 18. So here it passes through some point. So we'll keep it here. So it makes sense. It is also negative. So that makes sense. Now looking into this, our graph has to come down and turn. So that is the turning point, right? So here we should have local minimum, right? And at this point, we have a maximum. Then we again have a minimum here. Do you see that part? So that kind of helps you to understand the whole situation. Now based on this, it's kind of easy. It, this becomes the turning point, that's zero, right? And somewhere here, we could turn back. So the graph seems to be kind of like this. Now we have to go through the zero, but we have to go through this point also, which has to be local minimum. So we'll go back through 0 and then turn at 1 and then go up. So this smooth curve will represent a polynomial where this point should be labeled as minus 18. Correct? Now if you check, all the conditions are met. Perfect. So for this polynomial, which is referred to us as p of x, we can write the equation. So p of x should be equals to a times 1 root is at 0. This is as x minus 2. So we have x minus 2, which becomes plus, times x times x minus 2, right? So that becomes the equation. And we know that it goes through the point a, which is 1 minus 18. So we'll substitute minus 18 and find the value of a, right, and 1 there. So we get 1 plus 2 times 1 times 1 minus 2. So that gives us 3. Uh, okay, so 
because this is turning here at minus 2, it should be square, right? Those are linear zeros, correct? So we have a quadratic zero here, so this should be squared, correct? So I hope that makes sense. Since we have a turning point here, so this should be squared. Perfect. Now, so 3 squared, and this is negative, so we get negative 9a. And from here, we could say that a is equal to negative 18 divided by negative 9, which is positive 2. So we get our function. Let me write down here that the polynomial p of x will be a is 2, x, x plus 2 whole square. So that is the turning point times x minus 2, a linear. So we have two linear zeros, one quadratic zero in this particular case. So that becomes our function. Correct. So this is uh, the part B of our question, which is equation. So I hope this helps. So this rough work column really helps to effectively sketch the graph very easily. Perfect. And it's always a good idea to check your answer. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.